Hello, thanks for tuning in. Just a um, quick video. I haven't made a KSP video for a long time, because I've not really had anything I've wanted to make one about, but uh, I finally do. I've been trying to make this type of craft for years. Way back when I was making my little derpy, um, tiny uh, SSTOs and other ones, um, I always wanted to make um, an SSTO with refueling all built in. And um, it, it's a lot harder than it, it looks, but yeah, I've finally done it and I'm going to share my design. Um, the craft file will be in the description, so if you don't want to hear me waffle on about it, feel free to just download it, test it out, and if you like it, let me know what you think. But yeah, it's got uh, two cargo bays, one facing down with the uh, thermal um, things there, plus the, the drill and the uh, lights. And of course, the upward facing one with solar panels, the little um, little communication dish and all the science gear, plus the ore tanks. And uh, yep, all of that fits in beautifully. Um, I tried to make it very, very minimum on the part clipping. The only stuff I did was for aesthetics, really. And that was the nuclear engine pushed in a little bit and the wings just brought up against the body there. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. It took a lot of failed attempts to finally find something that works, and um, yeah, so far I've been able to take this from Kerbin into orbit, no problem, and from there you can either land on the moon or Minmus. Um, Minmus is obviously better if you want to transfer to another place, because Minmus gives you way more fuel um, to transfer with. Um, from Minmus, I've been over to... Um, Duna, you know, Eve, Gilly, I can, obviously, um, you know, up to Jewel um, to check out um, up there. You know, this this has got the air breathing engine, so Lath, obviously not a problem, and all the other ones. But yeah, really happy with this, you know, for uh, 76,000 credits. This, this will take you anywhere in the solar system, pretty much, except for the usual stuff like Tylo and... Um, the, the surface of Eve, although this will land on the surface of Eve, for sure, but uh, that's not the hard bit, getting back off the bloody surface, that's the hard bit. Anyway, I'm just going to fly this up to Minmus, give a quick rundown of um, how it works if you want to know, then I'll just leave you guys to play with it and see what you can do. So for a start, you'll see, oops, let me just quickly revert this. Just a, a very quick one. You'll you'll see that my crew is a bit weird. I have uh, a lot a lot of random things. I may have accidentally sacrificed Jebediah and Bill to Cthulhu, and my necromancy skills weren't as high as I thought. So when I brought them back, unfortunately, they didn't have their level four skills. So I decided to just clone some new ones instead. Thus, we have uh, Valentini Kerman and Jebby Dyer Kerman. I also made Samantha and Jack because, you know, Stargate, hooray. But yeah, they will be our pilot and engineer for the day. I highly recommend a level 4 engineer for this because um, when you want to refuel um, the my um, converter, work a lot better when you've got a level 4 um, engineer. You'll see I start off with maximum ore, and you'll see what I mean. As soon as I start, um, hotkey number 6, you'll see that it's already converting ore into liquid fuel at a pretty decent rate. And that's basically just to give me a little bit of extra fuel. I tried to land on the moon without that, and... Um, you could do it, but it was tight. I, I, w I was landing on the moon with, I, I, I would say, fumes left in the tank. Like, you had to be spot on. I'm sure if you're um, a, a lot better or more used to this sort of thing, you could probably do it no problem. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lazy. And as such, my, uh, my craft was built for a lazy person. So if, like me... You don't like to sit there and messing about with the maneuver nodes, finding the absolute perfect um, approach to maximize your, uh, you know, fuel usage. 
then you're going to love this craft. As soon as you take off, um, I recommend between 5 and 10 degrees. Um, it should hit, you know, close to about 1,600 meters a second. Depending how willing you are to uh, baby it at the uh, 5 degree mark, um, you'll get anywhere from 1,500 up to 1,600. The temperature does get very dangerous, but it shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with this. I've tried many times over, um, you know, months, years, whatever. I've always given up or tried different things. And I finally found one that works. And that was a terrible maneuver there. <laughs> but you'll see what I mean by this works even for the, the lazy. I'm just messing about at the moment. As soon as you see the surface speed stop increasing, just whack it over to the closed cycle. Then you can um, just swip a, switch over to the map. But yeah. My goal here is to just uh, show how good it is. Um, you know, for refueling and stuff. Once I've done that, um, yeah. Uh, there'll be two craft files in the description. One will be with, um, like, a couple of little satellites that I've put in the uh, cargo thing. And one is without. You know, they're pretty much identical. One's just got a couple of the docking port juniors inside the um, downward-facing uh, cargo bay. Nothing particularly interesting. I just wanted to see if I could uh, drop off some uh, satellites with this thing. Oh god. I keep forgetting when this thing's at times four, it reacts very, uh, very well. What are we at now? 70 and 79, that's fine. But yep, as you can see, I'm in fuel. You know, definitely not the best ascent. <laughs> that was a, quite a horrible one. Um, but yeah, 757 liquid fuel left. It's pretty easy to do that with at least 900 in the tank. Um, if you want to land on the moon, you definitely want to make sure you hit orbit with a decent amount of fuel left. But yeah, if you're going for Minmus, you don't need to uh, be so cautious. As for the uh, maneuver node, let's have a look. If I get rid of that one and whack one just down here, that should be um, fine. Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. I like it when the uh, maneuver node does it all for me. As I say, this isn't going to be perfect, but um, you don't need to be with this craft. I'm just going to time warp now to the two and a half minute mark, and then I'll uh, make the burn. Yeah, I really do hope you enjoy the uh, the plane if you download it and try it out. It's been uh, something I've been trying to pull off for a while. Um, strange enough, I've looked on YouTube and um, if anyone can find other examples of this, um, just like post the link or whatever in the description. I've um, checked out, what is it, like Mark Thrym and a few other popular KSP um, guys that I watch. And, um, yeah, there's lots of different uh, SSTO variants, but I couldn't find one that's got everything all built in like this. At least not that's a decent size. I'm sure they've already done it. Some of the crazy builds those guys have pulled off.
yeah, be nice to see how my design uh, fares up to others that are out there. You know, on cost, size, fuel amounts, and everything. Nearly there now. As soon as I've got a fairly decent um, periaps, so I'm just going to blast it in. few more seconds. I should probably put it down to times one speed. That would probably be a good idea. And that will do just fine. Right, let's get this thing up there. So I'm at what, 400? I reckon I can get that down a bit. Just going to test the nav ball, see which areas uh, reduce that number. Three, 200. Pretty sure I can, uh... oh, there we go. Well, that'll do. Let's go. Just quickly um, make another adjustment. This is what I meant about being lazy, by the way. While um, <laughs> I definitely can sit there and figure out perfect um, fuel-efficient things, I much prefer to just sort of guess it and see how it works out. Certainly a lot faster. If you've got the excess fuel anyway. Nearly there. Might as well get the landing gear out and turn the brakes on. Let's see where I'm going to come down. See if I can get a nice spot to land on. just in case <laughs> it's always good to make a quick save the amount of times you blank out for a second and the next thing you know you're already six foot underground it's like hmm. now I've got to do the whole thing again sad panda God, it feels like a bloody eternity when this thing's coming down. Yep. One thing I'm really happy with this, though, is the refueling speed. You know, in, in Kerbal days, it's, you know, not, not a fast thing. It'll take you quite a few in-game days. But um, because of the efficiency and stuff with the engineer and the amount of electric charge and all that in the uh, ship, um, if you hit the 100,000 time acceleration, it's uh, just a few seconds, really. Very, very easy to um, refuel. In comparison to some where you just see 
uh, messing about. It's uh, it's quite nice. You might have to do a bit of messing about it depending where you are. You know, if um, this this is one of the reasons I recommended some um, RTGs, just for um, faster um, electric generation. But um, yeah, certain moons don't have the best sun, and uh, depending where you land, could have really bad sunlight as well. Easy. Easy. Easy does it. Come on. Feather that throttle. Oh. 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 And that'll do. Perfect. Look at that. Excellent. Now, I can open up this front cargo bay, get the uh, thermal things and the uh, drill out, and start this off. Tell it to do liquid fuel and oxygen, and boom. And yeah, as you can see, this is uh, filling up pretty fast. One of the things I'm quite glad about, actually, is when you're doing this sort of uh, mission, you, you don't want to be making a coffee every single time. That um, maybe, maybe you do want to make a coffee every single time that you want to refuel the ship. In fact, I want a coffee now. So I'm going to end the video and go get a coffee. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um... As I say, I've already taken it to uh, loads of different places. It feels really good, flies well, and um, it's a lot of fun to play with. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, thanks for checking out the video, guys. I'm now going to go and see if I can land on Moho. And uh, yeah, cheers.